Hi, it's Shelly and welcome to my channel. What are we doing today? In today's video, we are heading um, out a little bit east of Belleville. Uh, today we're going to head out to the uh, the Frink Center Conservation Area, which is north east of Belleville. It's a conservation area where we're going to go hiking. It's a place also where a lot of schools take uh, the, take the kids for um, an excursion. It's uh, just a nice little conservation area. So we're going to do that first. And then later on in the video, we're going to do another little excursion that's sort of in the same area, which is the, uh, the Tyendinaga Caverns and Caves. So those two things, um, these two things you could kind of do in a day trip together you because you're they're in the same area we're going to uh, yeah like I say hit the Frink Center and then later on we're going to the cave so come on it's what we're doing today Okay, so we're here at the uh, Frank Center. We're on the, there's two sides, um, and we're on the trail side. The other side is, uh, I think it's more of like an interactive um, place that they take, you know, you take your school groups and things like that. And I would definitely do it on a different day. Um, right now, today, I'm just here for a hike. So you can see it's really nicely groomed. So this is quite nice, really different. You actually get to go out here into the marsh and uh, see what it's like to be right out here in the middle. Beautiful marshy area and we're right in it without getting our feet wet. How awesome is this? So we've made it out here to the uh, the end of the boardwalk which goes out into the marsh area here and um, apparently there is some beaver in here as well as other marsh type animals. You can see here, um, looks like there's a path that comes all the way through here that it was describing in the, uh, that goes underneath the way here. And this is the way that the beavers make their way over to the dam over here, I'm assuming. That's what they're talking about in this little thing here. Um, you know, they got big pieces of wood they got to drag along here. So uh, I guess this is their passageway. I don't see any right now. I've seen a couple of things, a turtle and a couple of snakes. So um, we'll just keep going on our venture. Okay, so it looks like from here, this is kind of where the boardwalk ends and the nice groomed trails and things. So we are going to just continue on our way here. Um, it's a really beautiful spot. As we're walking along here, there's a, a lot of tree roots and things, and I think it must get like quite wet down here because they've got some boards kind of put up where you can you can walk on because I think that probably 
it gets pretty muddy down here and it is a little damp we've had a bit of rain for a couple of days so um, my guess is is that it could get quite quite muddy and dampish down here but here we are coming up onto a little marker here um, so I'm gonna stop and check my map see exactly where we are we're now at the horsetail boundary so let's check out and see where that is it's just beautiful in here I'm just loving this little walk through the forest Well, this looks like it's going to be an interesting little trek across here. <laughs> Our board walk has been a little bit downgraded. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Can we get through here? Keeping our feet dry. I think we just take our time. No big hurries. Hope Bear doesn't come along and start chasing me because he would definitely win this race because I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> but just showing you what it's like this hike because, you know, people have different abilities and um, it's nice to kind of know before you head out what exactly it is you're getting yourself into. <laughs> it would have been nice to know that. However, I would have still come. Oh, look at this tree. This is very cool. Very big tree here. But yeah, this is really, really neat. It's safe, obviously. Chop this tree down. And um, yeah, it's just the way the forest has enveloped it. And uh, is, uh, I gotta keep moving because the mosquitoes are, and something else, I'm not sure what, something just flew in my eye, but. <laughs> okay, keep going on this. This is a new definition of a boardwalk. <laughs> I think we're making our way back to the parking lot, but time will tell. It's been a gorgeous, gorgeous walk in here. You can see we're just like walking right alongside the road here so um, you know we're getting closer to uh, back into civilization again lovely trail back here just enjoying the final stretch here I was out for about an hour I guess so I just came out of the trail there I'm going to pan around for you so you can see um, I'm parked over there and over there is where I went into the trail. So I've gone all the way around, but I've gone full circle. In today's video, we're visiting Tayendanega Cavern and Caves, which houses Ontario's largest natural cavern. Tayendanega Cavern is located northeast of Belleville on the Tayendanega Mohawk Reserve. 
caves are not very commonly found in Ontario due to the glaciation that this area experienced. Most caves and caverns were destroyed by the weight of the glaciers, leaving the caves left in Ontario simply small and deep. For this reason, the large Tyandonega Cavern is a rarity and we are lucky to have it this close to home. Our tour begins above ground, examining some fossils that have been preserved in the rocks on location. Some very cool specimens here. Next, we are taken along a path to visit a sinkhole as well as a couple of inaccessible caves that have been discovered on the property. There's a water cave, so named because it has a rapid rise and fall of water as water levels during spring runoff and during heavy rain. It's closed to the public due to the degree of difficulty in exploring it. Next is the Hourglass Cave, so named because it has a chamber at both ends with a narrow passage in the middle. It's closed to the public to prevent damage to the delicate stalactites. However, there may be a possible opening of this cave in the future. We are then taken to the entrance of the public cavern where we are able to go in and actually experience the underground world. In this large cavern, there are man-made stone stairways and smooth concrete floors to make it an easy accessible adventure. All of the materials used to make these modifications have been sourced directly from the property. Upon entry to the cavern, you can feel the refreshing geothermal naturally occurring air conditioning below the surface. Our guide was very knowledgeable and educated us on how the caves are found, are formed and how they have been preserved over thousands of years. The cavern is rated as an introductory level and gives people a feeling for entry level spelunking. The tour is very safe and user friendly. However, due to several flights of stairs, it's not wheelchair or stroller accessible. The tour takes about 45 minutes with 15 minutes above ground and 30 in the cavern. There's a narrow passage area that you're allowed to access if you wish. I did attempt it, but being quite claustrophobic, I couldn't bring myself to go all the way in. We learned about the formations developing in the cave as well as the mineral deposits that are found here. They found scratchings on the walls dating back to 1817, so that's the earliest indication of human exploration into the cave. The tour ends with the lights being turned off and you experience total darkness. Very surreal feeling. We really enjoy the tour and I do recommend it. There's a lookout area, a short leisurely walking trail, as well as a beautiful covered pavilion if you wish to pack a lunch to enjoy on the property.